What's going on nation? Today we're going to be talking about which is the best way to maximize your muscle building potential with the cable lat pull down machine and we'll be comparing the underhand grip versus the overhand grip. But before we get started, be sure to click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload. Now obviously the objective here is to pick the variation of the lat pull down that will help you build a wider and thicker back. But which exercise is best for you will depend on a couple things. Number one, is your back lagging in a certain area? For example, maybe your upper lats are well developed, but your lower lats are just not flaring out like the wings you'd hope they would be. Or maybe your workouts already consist of a few movements that target your back in the same way the lat pull down does, and you need to choose the right variation to ensure that you're not wasting your time repeating the same movement patterns. But before we get into all of that, let's go over proper form for the movement with both variations. All right guys, so proper form for this movement starts off with adjusting this pad right here. You want to adjust this so that when you're sitting down, you can get your feet underneath and you can actually push off your toes into this to help lock you into place. This is going to help you lift heavier weight for more repetitions. If you're not able to do this, you're going to slide out of the machine and obviously it's going to go against how much weight you can lift. Once you get that set up, you're going to stand up, grab out just outside of shoulder width and we're doing the overhand grip version of this first, grab just outside of shoulder width, pull it down, get yourself locked into place, and then adjust yourself so that you can sit up straight like this with your core nice and tight, and that when you pull this bar down, you can bring it to the top of your chest and keep your elbows in line with your wrists the entire time. So, all the way up, get a full stretch at the top, and then bring it back down and pull it to the top of your chest. Now if you want to do the underhand version of this exercise, all of the setup down here is the same, but what you're going to do is grab a bit closer to the center of the bar like this. So instead of being outside of shoulder width, you're going to be probably just about shoulder width or a little closer. And then once you grab these inside handles, the main difference is here is that what you're going to do is actually slightly lean back just a little bit because for this movement, you're going to try to bring the bar down to the top of your rib cage. So instead of leaning forward and bringing it here to the top of your chest, what you're going to do is lean back just slightly and pull it all the way down to the top of your rib cage. This is where you get that really hard contraction, that really hard flex. So if you've been doing this movement and only pulling it down just below your chin or to the top of your chest, you've been doing it wrong and not maximizing the full range of motion of the exercise. You want to sit up straight and bring it all the way down to the top of your rib cage, flex your back as hard as you can, and then go back up to the top of the position and repeat for reps. And that is how you do proper form for each movement. All right, so now that you understand proper form, let's discuss how each exercise targets the lats. If your goal is to work on the upper portion of the lats, then the variation you want to use is the overhand grip. What else is great about the overhand grip is that when it comes to maximizing the stretch of the lat at the top of the movement, this version is superior to the underhand grip. If you guys remember, we just did a video about how to hack the pull up for muscle gains without doing any reps, and it was basically a weighted dead hang, and you can check out that video by opening up the card over here. Now the stretch here is very similar to that, and the reason why you can get more of a stretch with this variation versus the underhand grip is because at the top of the movement, you can actually get the bar over and behind your head. Whereas with the underhand grip, the stretch at the top is obstructed by your shoulders. But the underhand grip does have its benefits as well. First and foremost, it will activate more of the lower lats, and while the overhand grip provides a better stretch, the underhand grip provides a far superior flex or contraction of the lats at the bottom of the movement. This is because the range of motion when using an underhand grip will allow you to bring the bar all the way down to the top of your rib cage. Secondly guys, this variation really activates your biceps and why that's more beneficial to you is because you'll have more strength to pull down more weight to overload your lats as much as possible for growth. Now when it comes to applying these two variations to your overall back workout, you want to make sure that you don't perform multiple exercises in a row that follow the same movement patterns. For example, if you start your back workout with pull-ups, then moving into an overhand grip lat pull down is not a waste of time, but you're targeting the lats the same way, which isn't the best use of your time. The same goes for chin ups. 
Moving into an underhand grip lat pull down after chin ups is the same movement pattern and not the most effective way to train. So if you start your workout with pull ups, it would be best to use the underhand version of the lat pull down for your second exercise. Also guys, keep in mind what your next exercises are going to be is important as well. The easiest thing to do would be to just remember your hand position on each movement and make sure that you're alternating underhand grip to overhand grip when possible. But don't forget about the neutral grip too guys. If anything, it's best to start your workouts with neutral grip movements like a T-bar row for example because you'll always be able to lift the most amount of weight and overload your back for more growth with a neutral grip. I actually did a video comparing the various grips in my bent over row versus T-bar row video so make sure you check that one out after this one's over. Another way you can maximize the benefits of the different grips is instead of alternating the grip on each exercise, try doing two sets of an overhand grip followed by two sets of an underhand grip for a total of four working sets per movement. Typically for muscle gain you want to be in the 8 to 10 rep range per set, but you can always easily apply my cheat and recover technique to these back exercises as well. For those of you who are not familiar with cheat and recover, you perform 8 cheat reps with as much weight as possible using a spotter or a bit of momentum to skip the concentric phase of the movement and then focus on fighting the negative as much as possible on each rep and as soon as you finish 8 cheat reps you immediately lower the weight and complete 8 recover reps with perfect form. But if you're a beginner, I don't recommend using this method because if you have poor mind muscle connection you'll not be able to maximize the benefits of the cheat reps and could possibly injure yourself. Remember guys, the basis behind cheat and recover training is taking advantage of being 40% stronger in the eccentric portion of the movement during the cheat and then once you've pre-exhausted your muscles doing the cheat reps, you're going to fuse more volume into the set by doing the recover reps. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to leave your suggestions for future videos that you would like to see in that comment section below. Also guys, if you're in need of a full 12 week program, be sure to check mine out on MuscularStrength.com. All of my programs are for beginners or advanced lifters and you'll have the support from me and our entire community to ensure that you're reaching your goals. And as always guys, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.